This refugee from Cameroon is making sure that her fire truck is in good working order. It's part of her training as a volunteer firefighter, a job she signed up for not long after arriving in Germany a year ago. She says it has helped smooth the transition to life in the small town of Furstenwalde near the Polish border. Color is not problem, <laughs> nationality is not problem. Yeah, we are together, it's, uh, 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 same person, family here, yeah. But getting a job hasn't just been positive for her. Volunteering to work in fire departments is a long-standing tradition for Germans. But in recent years, services have struggled with declining numbers. We've been trying for several years to increase the number of recruits for the volunteer fire department. We don't think them as refugees. We think of them as people. It doesn't matter what nationality they are. It's estimated that around 50 volunteer fire departments nationwide now include refugees. About 10 percent of the residents of this small town now are asylum seekers. But integration remains a controversial topic here in Germany. According to a recent poll, just over half of Germans don't believe that refugees will be able to successfully integrate. The asylum laws are that you give someone protection and asylum while someone is persecuted in their home country. But when the conflict in their country is over, these people should return. So to really integrate them, you have to ask how necessary that is. Koreans not quite ready to be deployed yet, but says it's not the dangerous work that's holding her back. Her biggest challenge right now is improving her German. And although some people say they might not like it, being helped by a refugee like her in an emergency isn't something they're likely to turn down. Iris Spitzer, TRT World, First in Valda, Germany.